Hello everyone and welcome back to Decorate Every Nail You Got. So I have here an order from Maniology. This was the hot mystery deal, 10 items for $15. And it's supposed to be a random assortment of stamping plates, polishes, and other nail art goodies. Original, uh, yeah, original value at $50. Um, and I think what that was was them trying to get rid of their old name of Bundle Monster. So you'll see some of the stuff is Bundle Monster on here. Um, but some of it is maniology stuff. So this is kind of awesome. It's a great deal. And so what you'll see here is I have three polishes. We've got Fireside and Straight Up Black and So Metal. I'm excited to try this one. I'm always after a good um, silver polish. We have three of these. And these are all stickers of some shape or form or another. These are holographic stickers that are stripes. These are different space things. And this one, I'm not sure if it's a sticker or not, but um, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm interested to try it, although I'm probably not going to try it today. Uh, there were three plates, BMXL502, there was BMXL216, and there's a small square plate, BM. S402. There was also this uh, small set of mini nail files in there. Now, I don't know if I actually believe this is completely $50 worth of stuff, but I would say it's um, it's close to that. It's definitely between 30, uh, 35, four, probably between 40 and 50. Well, let's give Maniology a break. They're pretty awesome. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I will open up these. I will swatch these different colors for us. And um, I will probably use the stamps um, at a later time. So we'll see what that looks like. Okay, let, let me get ready. Okay, so I am super excited to try swatching these. I've got all my stamping stuff ready now. This first one is called Fireside, and I'm excited. I always love a good red, and I always love a good silver. I know they're black stamps perfectly, so... Anyway, this one, um, this stamping plate is not any of the new ones. I am kind of a nerd. I use the same stamping plate for all of my swatches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. So let's go ahead and put that on there. All right. It's a pretty red, but it looks kind of orangey as, as well. Hence, Fireside, I guess. It's got a little bit of orange undertone to it. Okay. Now, I know the black is going to swatch well because, I mean, it's the Maniology black, and it always stamps well. It's um, pretty much the only black that I will use. The only black and the only white that I will use are Maniology colors. Um, they're silver. I used to have a really good one, and then they came up with a not-so-good one, so I don't know. Um, the silver's kind of hit or miss with them, so I'm excited to try that one. But here's the black. Oh yeah, as usual, the black stamps beautifully. Okay. I do love their Swatch Me stickers, and I love that all of their polishes come with the Swatch Me stickers on top, so I don't have to buy extras. Um, that is really, really a nice thing um, because, you know, it's not always that it looks this color when it's stamped onto something. So those stamping, the Swatch Me stickers are really amazing. If you haven't become part of that yet, you might want to try it. Oh, I bet this is the good one. The one that I have from theirs that's good is a nice thick one. And I wasn't sure. This one's called So Metal. I'm going to flip over my scraper there. Oh, yes, darling. This is going to be a good one. Oh, oh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Yes. Oh, man, I love a good silver. One that is very vibrant. Really, really good. So, um, awesome job with the stamping colors. Maniology, as usual, three amazing stamping colors. So, I think what I'm actually going to do is throw in and talk to you about something else that I ordered from them. And that was the Grimm's Nightfall Stamping Collection. And it was six colors. And here they are. Mirror Mirror, Dearest Aurora, Gretel Brittle, <laughs> Gretel Brittle uh, Wolfish, and Glass Slipper and Soulless. So you can see the, 
the play on all the different Grimm's fairy tales there. But the colors are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna do some stamping on my own nails using the new stamping plates. And this color, the Wolfish, I uh, just think it's so beautiful. And I think I'm gonna use this one as well, the Dearest Aurora color. Yeah. And I thought that I would use this stamping plate. And I'm gonna use this one right here, I think. So I'll just do an accent nail just so you guys can see how the stamping plate works and how the new colors look. And yeah, let me prep this for okay, us. Okay, my thought was to do a double stamp and see what the two colors look like together on top of each other. So same stamp, I'll put it on my accent nail. Maybe I'll do something different with this one because you, as you can see, I flooded my cuticle and it looks terrible. So I'd like to cover it up with a stamp too. So maybe I'll do half that nail. And maybe I'll bring in our striping tape. I don't know, we'll just see see what happens, see where the day takes us. Okay, let's get going with our first stamp here. Oh, such a pretty color. I don't normally buy shimmery um, stamping polishes, so this was kind of my first dive into that. Super excited about it though. Ooh, that is barely there. I knew it was gonna be light, but my goodness, that is barely there. Okay, let's see what it looks like on top of things. And I think when I go put them on top of each other, I'm not going to be trying to layer them up too much. I want them a little bit off center. Oh, actually, I thought it was barely there, but my goodness, that is really, really pretty. Wow. I'm almost afraid now if I put the other one on top of it, it's not going to be as pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just see what happens. We can always... Um, I am wearing gel polish, so we can always um, take it off and see what the next one holds. So let's try with our wolfish color. This is the one that really drew me in. I was super excited about it. It's so pretty. Okay. Oh, oh, just amazing. Wow. Wow, it's so pretty. I just love it so much. See what it looks like on the stamper. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And if you'll excuse me for a second, I'm going to have to line this up a wee little bit. I have to turn my stamper around. Mm, I don't think it's going to look as good as I want it to. I might have to stick with that pretty, pretty pink. Whew, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, man. So you can't see the other one at all whatsoever. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess you can a little bit. Kind of gives another dimension to it. Ooh, ooh, this is tough. Well, hmm. Okay, well, I definitely know I want stripe, hollow stripe on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and start this nail and kind of see where that takes us. Let me get some things prepped. Okay, so I have the stripes and I have a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna cut off a piece that would be uh, relatively the size I need. Um, and I just realized that these go from like a very um, thin to a little bit more thicker, so as they go. I think I just, since it's my pinky nail, I'm just gonna want a very small one. I am gonna put it just straight down the middle and um, yeah, so I don't need a very big piece. And I can always cut off a little bit more if I need to later. So let's just get this baby going. And when you have gel polish on, sometimes it feels like you have fake nails. Can't get anything off of here. I can do it. I know I can. I can do it. Oh, whoops. That was a little bit more than I needed. Okay, so I know I'm going more than I need. Oh, okay, don't be ridiculous, little pieces. Wow, this is, it, look, it seems like really good quality. Am I going down the middle? Like, does it look like it's down the middle? Is it ish? Not really. Let me do it again. So I say that it feels like it's good quality because it's not very flimsy. You know, it's kind of dumb. I should have stamped on it before. <laughs> I'm kind of ridiculous sometimes. I should have stamped on it before, but I think I'll, I'll just deal with it later. It's fine. Okay, so I like that placement. 
I'm just going to cut off. And my little tip for using striping tape is you want to cut off a little bit before the edge of your nail because if you don't and you put your top coat on, then it'll lift at that particular point. So let me see if that's... So you can see I did just a tiny little bit before the edge of my nail. Uh, maybe I even want to go a little bit more because really if it's at the edge of your nail, it's just going to pop up out of the top coat and it is annoying. Well, considering I can't even get it, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so there we go. There's the first part of that. And I am gonna use a stamp, but I loved this color so much. So I think I'm just gonna use this one. So let me see if I can get things going again. Set this off to the side. And I'm going to use this stamp again, but just with this color. And I'm only gonna do that half, like I told you guys. Just the half. Yeah, like I said, should've stamped it before, but you know, sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes I just don't think about things exactly the way I should. So it's a nice kind of straight edge. So I am going to use that straight edge to help me out this edge of the thing right there. Is it? Jeez Louise. Okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure I went all kinds of over it. But the stamp is so hard to see. So. Okay. Do I even like the two of them together? I think I do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on this nail as well. And then they kind of bleed into each other. I dig it. I dig it. Okay, let me get the striping tape ready again. And I'll be back. I noticed that I went a little over, so I'm going to get some acetone on a brush here that I've got. Just a little detail brush. And I just want to clean it up a bit. Since I didn't stamp first like a ding dong. I really want to see that stripe on that holographic thing. There we go, a little better. Pretty, and in the next one, let's go ahead and stamp it before we do anything, okay? Okay, how do I like that overall? Love it. I'm gonna top coat these bad boys and we're gonna call it a day. Pretty. Okay, I'll be back. So sadly, I'm almost out of my Bundle Monster top gel polish coat. I think they're getting away from doing gel polish altogether. So my absolute favorite of all time gel polish top and base coat is gonna be a thing of the past and that hurts my heart. So Maniology, if you're listening, Man, bring it back. Just for me. Just make it for me, okay? I mean, who cares about everybody else? Just bring it back for me. Just kidding. Just kidding, everyone. Anyway, so this is probably my last, um, my last use of this top coat. I do love it. It's getting old, though. <laughs> it's a sad day. It's a sad day. Oh my gosh, how vibrant and beautiful is that color? That that wolfish stamping polish. Goodness. Yowzas. And I might have to do two coats because of the, um, what's that thing called? The striping tape. That's okay. So overall, I would say that the things that I got in the kit, although I didn't use the stamping colors, I love the stamping plates. <clears throat> that I got and I love the the colors that silver is going to be amazing I can't wait to use that as well 
And certainly I got some holiday things from them as well, so I'll be using that silver for some snowflakes. I just know it. I know it to be true. So overall, not too bad. And that striping tape, you guys, is really, actually really, really nice. The fact that it's, um, that it's actually tape and not just stripe stripes, you know, so sometimes they're not very sticky. These are sticky and they're um, rigid. They feel nice. Uh-oh, I forgot to get that stuff off of there. <laughs> I'm so sad. This is the last of my gel polish top coat from Maniology. <sighs> Let's just take a moment. Soak it in. Look, you can see how old it is. It's leaving all the divots in it. <laughs> it's time. Okay, let's talk. Let's um, let's bake these bad boys. So here's the finished look. And just as a reminder, there's a couple things that we didn't use, and this t 15 things for 10 dollars or whatever it was was kind of nice. So these are all the things that we got as a mystery deal, and for 10 bucks, I I mean 15 dollars, that was a pretty amazing catch pretty amazing deal so i'm quite happy and i do hope that you love maniology just as much as i do and if you would like to get 10 percent off of your maniology ordered that's uh groove mama you can use that code right there groove mama and if you'll follow me at instagram that would be amazing i do hope until we meet again that you decorate every nail you got people bye